Now what's going on over here? Is that a cat? Howdy! You got any of that? Any of that good catnip? I've been done to try some. Is what I would say if I were a dirty bandit! <laughs> You're almost tricked! I could've caught ya and turned you into the feisty five. <laughs> Be more careful, partner! Ooh. Two boxes of rubber pellets sits on the desk. Best to leave them for someone who needs them. Not me, I don't need anything. Did they even take my stuff? No, I'm still wearing everything. I will put away... Oh, I've got way too much stuff. <laughs> I can't... I don't know how much they heal for. Hey, the dummies! The dummies. The fact you didn't fall from my trap is pretty neat. Neato. Maybe you'll fit right around here better than I thought. Unless you're a bandit in disguise. Yeah, I'm only joshing, partner. Ain't no place like the Wild East, I'll tell you that. Alright. Got junk. Sell it right here at the Blackjacks. Today's special fancy holster. Great for defense. Can it be better than my silver scarf? I don't think so. Whoa, how far can we go? Oh. An old necklace discarded in the sand. Looks expensive. It's mine now. A broken but dazzling necklace. Can't be worn but could be worth something. Maybe I can sell it. And then this is locked. A giant lock prevents your exit. Kind of overkill. Well, the, this is tough, but we could just hop the fence here, maybe. <laughs> Ooh! Greetings! Take a gander, just don't touch anything. Ask away! Hi! Can you tell me about the Feisty Five? I was hoping you wouldn't ask about them. <sighs> oh! Young hooligans are all they are. Hooligans I'm forced to put up with to keep my business afloat. They have no respect for the fine arms I produce, always waving them around like they're some child's toy. However, I have learned how to benefit off their behavior. I'm the only monster around that provides such quality weapons, so whenever they push me, I push back and threaten to close shop. They always crumble and end up paying far more than the weapon they want is worth. <laughs> As long as you're making money, I guess. A little money is worth a few headaches, haha. <laughs> Your stuff. Oh yes, my gallery of babies. Ah, uh, that sounded strange. <clears throat> These beauties are all crafted from the highest quality materials. I forge them myself in my personal gunsmithing room. Not only do I make them with care, but I also care for them. I start my mornings by polishing the whole stock until I see my reflection in them. I also know how to handle these bad boys. I'm a way better shot than North Star, that's for sure. Oh! Oh! Okay, good to see you're okay. I saw Bennett in my rafters. Oh, okay. Do you get a lot of visitors? Wow, these gets many visitors each day. There's something about the aura here that some monsters can't get enough of. I thought you guys don't have people coming that often. Now don't worry, I'm not selling ultra-deadly weapons to any passers-by with enough G. I make sure my wares are tame enough to not be lethal. I myself am not one for violence. Well, used enough times consecutively, they could be lethal. But then again, a ballet shoe could also be lethal, used enough times. Look, don't question my morality too much. I am not prepared to speak about it. It's okay, we're all just trying to live in, in this capitalistic society. History. I heard about this town some years back. I had mastered my smithing capabilities and was looking to open up shop. As it turns out, there was an empty building here, so I thought, why not? Seemed like quite the perfect town for such a shop. Do I regret settling down here, resulting in endless torment from five demonic youngsters? Every day. <laughs> but everyone else I've met is quite pleasant, so it balances out. Oh, they keep the place energetic, you know? It's a... You have some young people, you have some young, older people. That's just the way it is. Ooh, you're too young. I can't buy it. I don't have the money anyway. Fancy holster. Eight defense made from leather. 
I can buy it, but honestly, I feel like the silver scarf is still better. The gunpowder heals. Weird. It may be edible. Uh, I guess I'll buy- uh, hmm. I'm not even gonna buy it. I don't think it'll be worth that much, because the healing is so much better. But however, I will sell you a necklace for 100 gold. Thank you. I will make good use of this. Would you like a feisty slider? I got one. I bought it for 30, though. I bought one for 30. That's kind of a waste. Oh, I still don't... I can't... I can't afford it. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna sell one slider. Thank you. Yes. Because I want to see if you'll sell it. Oh. Wait, what? Oh, I still don't have enough. I thought... Hmm. That's fine. Okay, that's fine then. Thank you. I wish you good travels. I don't even know what kind of monster you were. Like a old gentleman. Okay, doesn't look like we're, we have a way to save Martlet just by looking around. I guess we have to go do some training. Whatever that entails. Wasn't lying about being close to an exit earlier. I just didn't expect all of this. On the bright side, you may be able to obtain some gear upgrades here. This roadblock isn't totally pointless, heh. <laughs> oh, maybe I should buy that holster just in case. Howdy! That's it. Alrighty. Um, I, I guess I'm ready for the training. Are you ready to begin? Did you talk to the townsfolk? Explore every nook and cranny? You're gonna need to if you want to be a good... deputy. That's right, kid. I'm heavily considering you for my coveted psychic position. Oh no, you're gonna make the little pyramid jealous. Now don't get too high and mighty just yet. To be a deputy, you're gonna know how to wrangle the horses. Me and my posse are gonna show you how it's done around here. I wouldn't drag anyone off the road and give them special treatment. You'll have to prove your gunslinging skills to me. That being said, let's go meet up with the others. Training? Do we have to go to the gun range? Alright everyone, come here! What you want, boss? Oh, are we gonna begin training with Clover? Precisely, Moray. I thought we'd start with a classic game that involves pacing. You mean what I see you doing every night outside the house? Back and forth, whispering to yourself. What? I don't do that. <laughs> Maybe he's just a little nervous. Some monsters have unique ways of getting their thoughts out. Other monsters... <clears throat> Can anyone correctly guess what game I'm hinting at? Oh, oh, I know. Yes, Mooch? A duel! Bingo! Oh my god, Dangerous Duel, Mission 1. A Wild East Duel! It's all I've been hoping for! No, no, this is all wrong. Oh, what's the matter? Clover doesn't look right. Look at her hat. It's tattered and practically decomposing. And that iron in their holster, what kind of pea shooter is that? Cool it, Ace. I'm sure they try their best. Ace, that's your name. We didn't learn it earlier. No, no. Ace has a point. It's because I'm a child! I'm a child! What kind of host am I if I don't spoil you with gifts? To the weapon store! Oh, dangerous duel, not yet. Dressed to impress? Hey, are you gonna- Oh, thank you. Thank you for paying- You're paying, right? Good thing I didn't buy anything yet. <laughs> We've met already. No need for introductions. Heh, <laughs> of course. Old Blackjack doesn't like doing business with me. I often borrow his wares and, uh, break or lose them. Open up, Blackjack! Don't make me use force! I make the law so I can legally shoot down your doors! Get off my property, North Star! I told you, I wouldn't even sell you a gumball! Oh, come on, partner! I don't even know what a gumball is! 
And those last transactions were ages ago. I'm a changed monster. You lost one of my premium revolvers last week. Frolicking in your sandstorm and whatnot. Oh, look, I promise it's a different scenario, Jack. I won't even step inside. You can meet me out here. I want to see the guy step outside. Don't worry, Clover. He's coming. Oh. Oh, he's missing a leg. Make it speedy. Of course, sir. I was just gonna ask you to sell a gun to this child. <laughs> I, I worded that poorly. Hold on. This ain't a child, you see? I was joking. They're just a very small but very tough monster. He already wasn't gonna sell it to me. He saw me already. Uh, I'll give you 400 gold. Oh, wow, you're so realistic. Well, why did you open with that, kind patron? Come inside with me and I'll fetch the paperwork. See? I had it under control. Wait out here, Clover. A good thing I didn't pay or buy anything here. I couldn't buy the gun anyway, but whew. 400 gold. What the hell is going on in there? <laughs> done and done. Can I get a yeehaw? Yeehaw! <laughs> right, moving along. <laughs> Let's see what you got. Take this trusty six shooter as a gift from me. A real gun? A wild revolver. A real gun? Oh god. Carefully aim at the dummy and take your shot. Don't worry, it ain't alive or nothing. Uh... It's a dummy. That dummy does nothing. Really? Oh god. It's alright, partner. Try again. I wanted to act. Sand covers a dummy. Dummy. Just a dummy. Let's practice your shooting now. Smells like lead and burlap. You attempt to speak to the dummy. North Star is confused. Uh, actually, that's good. Intimidation of your opponent can decrease our focus. Good thinking, Clover. You intimidate the dummy more. It does nothing. Let's practice your shooting now. Do I have to shoot? I think so. Okay. I, I don't actually know how this works at all. Because I haven't tried shooting even one time. Mighty fine job! Give it another go! I have no idea how to read that interface. What? I don't understand this interface at all! What is happening? It's too fast, too. How you doing, dummy? Just a dummy. Do I just shoot one? There you go! One more. I'm just spamming the clicks, though. I'm not doing any... Oh, I did two this time. Nice shooting. Let's say you're a natural. I'm impressed, kid. I didn't figure out how that worked, even until the very end. <laughs> it definitely passes part of training. I gotta go tell Zoroba about this. She's a big doubter when it comes to you. Let's ride on. Saroba! Guess what just happened? You locked up another royal guard against their will? A another Hey! Feathers was a serious robot to all of this. It's only a temporary solution. I don't feel right doing it, I swear. I'm just giving you a hard time. What did you want to tell me? Oh, well, Clover just passed their first round of training. They are quite the sharpshooter. Almost as good as me. Really? A child? Now, now, don't disrespect the child. Clover can hold her own and then some. I know, I'm just... very impressed. Oh, hey! I almost forgot about the hat! I have a spare somewhere in my house. Clover, wait here while I fetch it. Maybe while they wait, you should get to know them, Saroba. Should be fun, right? Sure. Sounds good. Be right back, partner. Oh, he's even getting it from me. I thought he'd be like, hey, you can go get it yourself. Hey, oh! I just realized who the man in the blue hat is. 
It's Mo. Did you see Mo? Mo was sitting at the bar just now, sitting in the the postal service whale's seat. Tell me, truly. Are you into all of this? Sure. Hmm, that's nice. I've never understood it. But if it makes monsters like Star happy, it's fine. This whole thing is like a dream to him. It's kinda goofy, but it is nice to see someone so passionate. It rubs off on people. However, passion can go too far. You wouldn't believe how much his parents talk to me about it. Really kind folks who own a farm up north. Is that why he's called North Star? It's actually very lush there, if you can believe it. And the corn they grow? So good. Corn! Oh! Excuse me, you're Chujin's wife? Oh! Then shouldn't you know Martlet? Because Martlet used to work with Chujin? They used to give my husband, Chujin, baskets full every other week. Oh! Well, th wait, the corn people... Hey, when are we gonna see Dalv again? Anyway, I trailed off. Where was I? I'm back! Turns out I had one just your size, and in the same color. It's like, destiny or something. Here. You're really gonna give me a new hat? You got a nice hat. It looks the exact same. Thanks. Wow. I couldn't even tell it changed if I were standing from afar. Looks great. What do you think, Saroba? It's nice. Isn't it? Well, I'd say this mission was a great success. Go on and take a break, Lover. I'll be waiting for ya. Cool. You don't want to talk to me? Giddy up, partner! This town has plenty to see. Mo, hey! Wham, well, what's up? You're probably wondering why I'm here, right? You're the scammer in the blue hat. <laughs> Surely a monster of my status should always be out there hustling. Well, here's a tip from a pro. Always be your own boss. If you ever feel like you need a break, take the opportunity. I'm always traveling back and forth, making dough, being cool, etc. It's an exhausting life, am I wrong? Y yeah, you're a It's easy! Ooh, I see. You think it's easy? Well, it kinda is, not gonna lie. Look, moral of the story is, don't overwork yourself, eh? Mm, I'll take that to heart. Yeah, I will. That's about as wise as I get. Don't get used to it. <laughs> the products here are decent, but come on. Mine are so much better. Never settle for the mass-produced stuff. Can't say that too loudly or the bartender will hit me. Eh. <laughs> well, yeah. Cause you, if you don't wanna, if you're gonna say that, don't be here then. You know, I probably shouldn't be here. I really should be saving my G's every chance I get. That is an aggressive thing. Debt? I'm just yanking your chain like always. You know, old Mo. Hopefully our paths cross soon. I have ideas for some bang new products. Unique products. Quantity one for every one of them. Let me feel sorry for myself, please. I will not let it go. Okay, feel free. You doing alright? Yeah, alright. Hey. I think a thank you is in order. You just received some high-tier gifts, for free, no less. I do have an eye for that sort of thing. Oh, well, yeah, thank you, guys. 400 gold gun. <laughs> I don't know if I'll really make use of it, but... Thank you. Although, at the same time, you just gave a kid a gun, so I don't know how to feel about that either. Don't get the impression that I'm opening up or anything. It takes a long time for me to become buddy-buddy with someone. <laughs> you remind me of Tsunderplane back in Undertale. Remember that? The Tsundere plane. Oh, I never went into this... this hospital? Ooh. Oh, are you sleeping? <laughs> They're snoring. A closet with some cleaning supplies inside. They all look brand new. 
because no one's been doing any cleaning around here. Several odd smells seep from the dresser. You decide not to inspect it further. When you're in a town like this, I wonder if, I don't know, Wild West towns, my impression is maybe dry, it's very dry. No humidity here. The drawers are filled with clean-ish sheets and pillowcases. Uh, tumbleweeds, sandy, dusty. You don't know what you're looking at, but it's probably dangerous. <laughs> Paper. A nap sounds nice. Take it anywhere but here. And you can always do a nap. Ugh, this place has like no hygiene standards, yup. I don't think these sheets have ever been washed at all, yup. Not to mention the food, it's barely passable, yup. You could find stuff more fresh in the dump, yup. Huh? Sick? Nuh-uh, I'm just here to complain, yup. <laughs> Are you a four-legged octopus? Not to be rude, but I like some privacy, yup. Some monsters these days have no manners, yup, yup. Maybe the sheets are yellow because they've never been washed. It's not because it's just yellow to begin with. Welcome to the Wild East Clinic! We put the hospital in hospitality. Oh, okay. They call me the doc. Are you sick? Hurt? What is your diagnosis? I am hurt. Yes, of course. We have a tough one. I have just the boost you need. For an upfront price of 30 gold, I can overcharge your health. It is N, experimental medicine, but who said I was qualified? What do you say? Do it. Come closer, and I'll begin the procedure. Mmm, I see. A little bit of this, and done. You gain plus 15 extra health. When the energy wears off, it's gone for good. You can always visit me again for more, but only one at a time. I might take risks, but I'm not crazy. <laughs> really? Oh, 35 out of 20 now. Okay, cool. That would be nice if we are anticipating some kind of a boss fight ahead. Which we might be if we're going to be doing a, you know, training and all that. Hello, partner. Are you a kangaroo? Stick him up, partner. This is a robbery. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Darn. I always get that part wrong. Thank you, you almost paid for my overcharged health. Missions here can be real tiring. That's why we have a designated nap time. It's a good way to recharge for future servings of justice. Now that I think about it, nap time should be after this next mission. Hope you can join us. What? I don't search through my friends' belongings when they nap. Why would you suggest such a thing? I have some restraint. Oh, you didn't say anything. <laughs> this conversation didn't happen, got that? Snaps, snaps, snaps! Gotta love them. <laughs> Let me try again. Stick him up, partner! This is another robbery. Oh. Oh, thank you. <sighs> At least it's less than before. I can't risk another robbery. My wallet is hurting. <laughs> thank you, thank you. So it's the same stuff everywhere, right? Ish? Ish? Oh, hello? Hey! Go away before I'm caught! I, I mean, I was released by Star. Y yeah. Oh, this is the... The jail... Jail cell mate. Of Martlet. No problems here. Shh. I'm not here. You never saw me. Does that mean Martlet got out as well? No. Why doesn't it mean that? Oh, hey. I'm in here to give Martlet some food, that's all. It is a meal time, but I thought you would enjoy something. Oh, you're kind. So, you don't need to worry about her. I'll make sure she's treated as well as one in jail can be. This is for the best. Look on the bright side. Things are about to ramp up. Soon, you'll be one of us. How exciting! Mm, I'd really like to get going on my quest soon to Asgore. But okay, whatever you say. It's so boring in here. Could they at least give me something to do? 
All I have is brainstorming puzzle ideas in my head. I recently had an idea for a third molten rock puzzle, so that's fun. Oh, great. <laughs> okay, it isn't fun. What is interesting is the noise I heard a little while ago. I heard a loud snap, which awoke me from a nap. Before I realized what had happened, the other prisoner was gone. Snap? I tried to talk to them when I first arrived but got no answers. So now, not only am I in jail, I have no cellmate to talk to. All in all, this day is going fantastic for me. By the way, I'm aware of this Murray character. So far, they seem nice, so I'm gonna roll with it. Ahem! No thanks, Clover, I have food! Ah, wink! <laughs> Give me enough time, and I'll think of a fourth molten rock puzzle. At this rate, half of Snowden will be molten rock puzzles. Despite it being a snow town. <laughs> how did... how did they get out? You heard a loud snap? The doors look intact still. Huh. <sighs> Gotta say, I'm a little bit tempted to do the, the card game again. You wanna try for a third time? You doing good? Sorry, I only had time to write one jingle. It took me all night. Maybe I'll think of another one soon. That last line wasn't a joke, by the way. Being a horse is my only form of true expression. Nee! <laughs> Mister, are you still... Are you... Yeah, okay, alright. Is there a strat... I guess there's some kind of a strategy to this. But I'm... Way too lazy for that, so I'm just gonna do whatever. Oh my god, look at this bunched up stuff here. Okay, you can still get this. Mm hmm Maybe we should focus on the new ones coming in first. Because then, if stuff doesn't work out, you have a chance of shuffling it. If you do use some older, or like, you know, some higher up cards. Does that make any sense? See, like, this is messed up now, but I can try to... Um, maybe do it like that. And suddenly this is okay again. Right, and then just keep trying to do it. Uh, try not to mess things up too much. Oh, we might have a winner today. Do we? Oh no. No! <laughs> uh, I think that strategy... There was something going on there. No, 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 it's okay. I... I can't afford another robbery either. What was that? Was there a sound just now, or...? Huh. Can I practice again? Oh my gosh, I seriously have no idea what... The... Yeah, the, the shooting. I have no idea what was going on. It's kind of irritating the last mission was postponed. It ain't like Star to overlook the dress conditions. I guess we can chalk it up to him having his plate full. I am surprised he got just such fancy upgrades. We didn't get that kind of stuff when we first joined. Well, at least you're not a human. No more shopping sprees, Clover. Next mission is sure to put you to the test. Are you- are you good? Can I still- I can still buy a wild revolver here. <laughs> but only because I didn't pay enough. You would sell it to me if I paid more. Mm hmm. Well, it doesn't seem like there's too much else here. Do we- Do we go back to the saloon to Star? He wasn't super receptive to talking to me earlier. Let's see. We want to go on our mission and all that. Oh, it's empty here. Howdy howdy, Glover! Ready for round two? Swell! Seeing as the original plans were altered, we got catching up to do. Let's gather the others. <clears throat> Group up, everyone! Get in a bit of deja vu here. As you should, buddy. Thanks to Ace's keen eye for fashion, we took a little detour. I got a nice hat, I got a nice gun. Great job there. Thank you, Star. Clover looks much better now. More presentable. <laughs> I agree. Clover is looking like a real wrangler. For sure. That new gun is awfully shiny. Had to shake Mr. Blackjack down for it. That was real tough, too. Put old Jack in his place, I did. Also known as paying him 400 gold. You could've sent me in to get it. You know I'm the best negotiator. 
We might bend the rules a bit, but we ain't bandits. Hmm, totally. Let's get to the mission already. Right you are, Ed. What other mission would it be than the one that we skipped before? Get ready, Clover. Dun 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 dun. Mission two, dangerous duel. Oh yes, yes, all this because we were trying to duel. It's time for us to do duel. Did you spell duel wrong? <laughs> Look at Marae's face. You can see his eyes. Y you mean duel? That's what I said. No, you pronounced it with a ua sound instead of a oo sound. Boss, have you been skipping cowboy grammar class? Duel, duel, who cares? Tomato, potato, and all that. Y'all need to quit interrupting me so often. Upsets my frontier zen. Where was I? Oh, yeah. It's time to... Participate in a carefully timed shooting competition. Mooch! Provide Clover with a designated tool. <laughs> Here's a BB gun for the duel. I'll, uh, take that six-shooter off your hands for now. Oh, you're the smart one here. Mooch? Bring the gun here. That's what I was gonna do, Murray. Get off my back, will ya? Does she have a habit of stealing stuff? Alright. It's finally time to go head to head. Wait. What is it, Ace? What could possibly be so pressing to interrupt the mission again? You forgot the safety glasses. Gee, boss, you could have hurt Clover. Oh, they're actually so nice. <laughs> they're looking out for me. Right. I take responsibility and apologize for the oversight. Bring the glasses here. I want the pair with the blue flames. Red flames clash with my uniform. Here. So I get the red flames. Ooh! Looking like a handsome little fella. Now we're in business. Alrighty, Clover. We're gonna take 10 paces and turn to face each other. When you hear the draw sound, grab your gun and shoot me as fast as you can. Wait, so you... They took my revolver. Did they take your revolver? Are you using a, a toy gun as well? I hope you are. Here we go! Oh, I, I forgot the instructions already. The usual, right? Hear the sound? Turn around and shoot. Oh, okay, that was really fast. Oh, too bad. Let's try one more time. That might be a bit too much. <laughs> Star! Star! Are you okay? Pretty much the opposite of that. Well, what kind of gun did I get from Mooch? Oh, Star! I'm so sorry! Who... Who will you give your inheritance to? <laughs> Not... You... The heck... Clover... This was... Your... Emotional trauma test! This job ain't all swelter stones and rainbows, you understand? You might end up hurting someone and must carry that weight on your back. Hope I didn't scare ya. Oh. Anyway, you pass. I'll be waiting in the saloon again when you're ready for mission three. I'm seeing good things in ya, kid. Thank you. Oh? Here's your iron. Also, I'll be needing those glasses. <laughs> I want to get to Asgore ASAP, but you know what? Everyone's been really nice here, and I I don't mind staying up for a little bit, although Martlet being in jail is kind of poopy. I'm not up to anything, I swear. Can't the monster appreciate a fence in peace? Apparently not. Leave me be, I'm clearly busy, because you're trying to climb over. Okay, okay, wait, help... Help Martlet go... Oh, everyone's sleeping. They're fast asleep. Was that really tiring? He's in a deep slumber. I was like, he's the one sleeping in the hole. He's taking a nap. Oh, you're the cat! She's probably asleep. Probably. Mm -hmm. She's a kitty. Hello? What's up? I mean, howdy, human. Don't tell Northstar about this, but I have a secret. 
When everyone's busy or sleeping, I sneak out. I go down the Café Dune to... game. The arcade is totally rad, you dig? I'm a gamer at heart, but a cowboy at skin. I even struggle to keep my accent on. You should try being a gamer, human. Oh no, no thank you, that's kinda icky. Maybe you could top my Mew Mew score? <laughs> Maybe. I heard one of the arcade machines used to be named Luckman. They changed it because, well, I'm sure you know why. Monsters kept scribbling the word bad in front of the Luckman. Do you think they'll ever invent another video game? No, I think they've run out of ideas already. Yeah, kind of a missed opportunity to only make three. Can't have too many video games in this world. This is just how it works. Hey, there's someone new here. Ha ha. Ha ha. The dog just replaced one of my pincers. I feel funny. <laughs> I feel hilarious! <laughs> Wanna hear a joke? Okay, so there's this stone pillar, right? It ain't your everyday pillar, though. This one has a drawing of a cat on it. So, <laughs> does that make it a caterpillar? <laughs> I thought we had this joke earlier already. The caterpillar joke. Man, I'm good. Hold on, hold on. I need to think of more material. In fact, I'm getting a little... A little... <laughs> Your overcharge needs to deplete before I can do another procedure. You're sleeping. Hello! First time meeting you. I love this place. It has a great sense of community. There's not much like it anywhere else. There's a new friend to make every time I go outside. Never too many friends for old Cooper. I tried hanging out around the mines, but that place confuses me. Everywhere I step, there's another puzzle block in my way. I don't get it. What's the point? There aren't many turtle monsters like me around here. There's this one in Snowden, but he's way too popular to ever talk to me. Maybe someday we can be friends. Ah, a turtle in Snowden. Somebody we know? Hmm. I like how you're saying all this in, oh, in front of the jail. Hey, Marlet. I've been wondering how the situation will affect my job. Oh, that's right. I still have my handbook. I didn't take it from you. Let's see here. In case of injury, illness, imprisonment, loss of this handbook, or another misfortune rendering you unable to perform your duties, please report to the leader of the Royal Guard immediately. Failure to do so? <gasps> oh. Let's just say the book wasn't very helpful. <sighs> On the right side, I now have some not-so-light reading material. Gotta get cracking. Keep at it, Clover, because I'm not going anywhere. Yeah, I'll, I'll be back, okay? I'll, I'll find a way for you to get out. Maybe it'll be with playing the card game. For the tenth millionth time. I mean, just, just, just one more, okay? One... Come on, come on. I'll try my strategy this time. Stick to the bottom until we go to the top. Let's try to not change things too much. Oh, I should have done the... Shoot, that was kind of dumb. Oops. Okay, that might be it for the bottom parts. Oh, I... Hmm... Hmm... I'm scared, I'm scared. Okay, this is... this is working. It's, mm, now I gotta make a choice here, you see? Maybe I'll do this. Oh boy. Maybe I'll do that. I'm taking longer this time already. Oh, I did even worse than before. Ah! Is it really just luck? Is it just complete luck? Maybe. Maybe not. Oh, hi! Hey! Saroba? I have to say, it's fun watching the Five's missions. Can't say the same for rooming with them. All six of us sleep in one room. Any annoyance you can think of? It happens. Snoring, sleep talking, teeth grinding. It's pretty exhausting. I can't complain much, though. It's a free place to stay. You see, in the past, I haven't lived here. I have... well, had a place near Oasis Valley. I suppose I outgrew it, moved here a few weeks back. Star and I have been friends since childhood, so there's no rent. 
It's nice. You mentioned earlier that your husband is Chujin, but you live here by yourself without Chujin? About leaving. Once you pass your training, you'll be free to roam wherever. It'll be tough when I have to tell Star about your departure. He's taken a real liking to you. Shame you'll be gone so soon. The sooner you do your missions, the sooner you're on your way. Okay. Not that I don't enjoy it here, it's just that I got things to do. And I feel bad for Martlet. That's the other main reason. So maybe we should get going. How you doing? How you doing, howdy? You doing alright? Oh, cool. Less and less people here. Oh, hey! Hey, uh... Gilbert? So you're the new kid, eh? I've heard about townsfolk raving about you and all. Not to burst your bubble, but I could totally go toe-to-toe -to -toe with you. I know for a fact I could win an arm wrestle with you right now, no training. Is that because you have no arms? Your whole body is an arm? If I wanted, I could snap all 13 of my fingers and get the deputy position. If that upsets you, I'm not sorry. Heh, <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't cross me if I were me. You see me sitting at this bar? Yeah, it's because I'm a cool adult, unlike you. I can do cool adult things like cry and also weep. Oh, that's too relatable. Am I being mean? No, it's just the hard truth. If you're only talking to me to hear my silky smooth voice, give it up. I won't let you in on my secrets. Hey, Gilbert. Did you see your son? Hello! Aren't you a bit young to be hanging around here? Not to judge or anything. I'm in town visiting my little Murray. My lovely wife Angie, Angie, that's right, is running the mines while I'm away. She probably does a better job. Not sure how efficient my boys will be without me there, though. <laughs> oh, it's a risk worth taking. Angie often frets about Murray living down here. I've heard these Wild East fellas are real serious about everything. Murray originally touted it as being human-like, Said it was for roleplay, whatever that is. <laughs> oh, they, they're actually conscious of that, okay. <laughs> Seems like it's shifted into something very different nowadays. I guess if my kiddo's happy, I can't complain too much. The mines are always open to visitors if you call ahead of time. I'd like to see you back there soon. No, thank you. Uh, uh, did you fix the falling rocks problem yet? Welcome back, partner. We're about halfway done your training. They grow up so fast. Let's go. Follow me. You know the drill team? Ain't no time to be lazing round. Hey, they're all... Are they still sleeping? Uh, hello? Where is everyone? Oh, that's what the bell is for. Town meetings. Sorry about this, Glover. Star, what is happening on the west end of town? Would you care to explain? What? Is anyone in danger? Well, no, probably- They are?! By George! This must be an attack from Vengeful Virgil! Vengeful Virgil? Who is that? Saroba, come on! We drew his wand to poster last month! It's on the news board! You helped me find the thumbtacks and everything. Uh, uh oh yeah! Well, you better go stop him then. What are you waiting for? That's a spirit. Let's put a stop to this, Clover. Vengeful Virgil. Without any of our companions, can we do it? Can we do it? Huh. You sure you saw something trouble in here? Look down. <gasps> Oh my god! The whole town! Hey, I did not sign up for this. Get me out of here! Ed, keep it down! I need to focus. How in the heck will I solve this colossal conundrum? Just untie them. And risk being tricked into a booby trap? Touching those ropes is exactly what Virgil wants. What? This is scary, Star. I'm afraid you must choose between which track the train travels on. Yeah, choose Ed! Oh, did they all set this up specifically for him? That's kind of cute. 
Mooch, you are dead to me. <laughs> Unless Dark uses you instead. That's cold. Oh, this is all too overwhelming. I can't do it. Then have Clover choose. Of course. Clover don't have no emotional attachment to y'all. Should be simple. Don't you think this is a bit much? No, it's easy. She has to leave the track as is. It won't be your fault, but many monsters get hit. Choose to change the track? It'll be your hand, but only Ed gets hit. A classic. Not as much of a sacrifice. What did I do to deserve this? They even got the people sleeping in the hospital to be here. We're running out of time! If only we could've untied everyone! If only... You gotta choose now, Clover! We have 20 full seconds? I'm sorry, man. I'm a, I'm a numbers kind of guy, Ed. Is this really what it's gonna be? Okay. Oh! Clover, how could you? Is this about me carrying you earlier? Did I hurt ya? Now, now. In defense of Clover, they just saved many lives. I guess that's true. Clover proved that they were willing to sacrifice to be a hero. Quite noble, don't you think, Saroba? There's a lot of layers to this scenario. I believe it's more of a gray air. Quite noble indeed. This was a test of your judgment. Oh, they set it up for me. I'd say you pass, buddy. I'll be in the usual spot for your final task. Who is the train? Who is in the train? <laughs> uh, see you around. Aw, thanks, guys. Hey, is anyone gonna untie us? Oh, I can't. That's it. <laughs> I can't. Oh, hey, Saroba. How you doing? Hmm? Oh, it's you. Sorry, I was just looking at Star's videotapes. Mostly human-made westerns that found their way here. That and the classic Aerobics for Five. That one gets used often. Man, these really take me back. I remember the day Star ran from Waterfall with ease in his arms. He was ecstatic. I recall it being strange to see him act that way. He must have watched them all forward and backward 50 times over. When Kaneko came around, he'd watch them with her just must ma. Who's Kaneko? Uh, yeah, they're good movies. That's what I'm getting at. Who's Kaneko? I, um, have a habit of drowning in nostalgia from time to time. I apologize. It's super cheesy, I'm sure. It just helps. To remember the good times. It helps. You should get going. You don't want to miss your next mission. I'm fine, trust me. You need to focus on passing your training. Ah, Chujin? I, I remember back when we were on that boat with Martlet. She mentioned Chujin. Is he not around anymore? And then Kanako is also somebody related to this group of people. Hey, it's you again! Nice to see a face around here that's seen places other than the desert, he. <laughs> I live around these parts, but it's not always like this. The wildies is changing. Something's in the air. North Star and his gang are doing their best, I suppose. Speaking of North Star, he's got you roped into his crew, huh? Don't be too intimidated. They're all a bunch of softies at heart. Maybe not that Ed guy, though. Something tells me not to cross him, he. <laughs> yeah, you should stop by that place if you get the chance. Oh. Prettier than here, for sure. A trip to Waterfall. Yeah, we kind of passed it already. Oh, uh, Mr. Robot. Oh, you were the, the joking one. Oh, hey, you're the human star brought to town. Apologies if I scared you back there. You see, I'm the only, the best actor in all of the Wild East. I warned Star I'd go all in. Poor Ed must have been terrified. Oh no, you're someone else. This is our first time seeing you. You're probably thinking I hurt myself when I fell over. Nope. I'm here because I can't get this darn costume off. Sorry, kid. If you want an autograph, now is really not the best time. Maybe next time, then. How unfortunate for me. A are you doing good? Mm -mm. Okay. 
Marlet. I managed to doze off for a moment earlier. I had a dream I was back at my Snowden post. Dozing off. Don't get me wrong, I'm not a lazy bird. Being a royal guard is no easy task. Calibrating puzzles, writing status reports, guarding outposts. Getting yelled at by an old lady for ruining the Snowden Bridge. Oh, yeah, they were really mad. Whoops, I'm trailing off again. I really need to get out soon. At this rate, I'll start talking to myself. More than usual, anyway. You gotta hurry, Clover, please. Okay, okay. At this rate, I'm gonna have to start eating moss off the walls. Oh, God, don't do that. You'll go crazy. Don't, don't be one of those moss eaters. Especially not moss by the dumpsters. Okay, all right, all right. Are we sure we can't do one? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> do one more game of cards? No, I think we're fine. Anybody waiting around here? If not, let's go. Let's go. Our final task, did Star say? Oh, hey! Hey, the shufflers! Hey, would you look at that? If it ain't our fresh recruit. Your... your font color is different. I'm still so curious about that. How's it going, kid? You giving the shufflers a good name out here? You know, it's tough being a world-renowned gang leader. I gotta run around the underground every now and then. Make sure we're being properly represented, you know? You ain't getting respect, like us, by lazing around, kid. Hey, kid. You seen a certain associate around? A fancy little fella. Where's a nice suit and a stubby hat? Mo? We've got some matters to discuss with them. They left already. This down here is pretty nice, though I'm not fond of the local gang. They think they're the hot stuff, but they've got nothing on the shufflers. Where are the rest of you guys? Hey, wanna arm wrestle? Blembimbo. Remember the name. Blembimbo. Oh, okay. Howdy! Man, am I excited for this! Have you done everything you wanted? Caught some bandits? Saved some lives? Uh... Is there something I was supposed to have done? Hurry it up, then! Saved some lives? Oh, oh, save! Howdy! Okay, my patience is only so strong, Clover. I hope you're not planning to actually stay here. These bozos are below you. I highly suggest that you make a run for it when the time's right. Try not to let yourself get distracted from the real mission. My real mission? I I'm looking- I'm searching for someone. Giddy up, partner! Where did you get that little hat? I've gotta say it is kinda cute, even though you're kind of obnoxious. Okay, I have saved. I'm good. Yes, let's go. Let's get going then. Final call. Get on over here. Are y'all ready? Actually, there's something we wanted to talk about. Yeah, about the general work environment. Maybe later. Let's keep moving. Mm. So, Clover, I actually tricked ya. There is no fourth mission. Well, there used to be, but we cut it out of the regiment. Anyway, you passed everything! You are now the proud deputy of this fine town. Wait, deputy? I thought this was for a normal spot on the team. Clover is too special and skilled for a normal spot. Oh, you're, that doesn't make a good leader, you know? You're making all of your previous previous crewmates upset? Star, this is hardly fair. Life ain't always fair in the Wild East, bucko. They pass their training like anyone else. That was training? We barely did anything. That last mission especially was awful. Calm down, will ya? You're killing my good mood. I have to run to the mines to get Clover's badge made. I was too busy with everything that it slipped my mind. You five have fun. I'll be right back. Here's our time. This is just peachy. You getting this attention and all? How come you waltz in here and start instantly makes you a deputy? Cause I'm a human. I'm sorry. We didn't get this kind of treatment. We had to go through weeks of lasso lessons, 
Lassen's were short. Hmm, Lassen's. For me to become part of the team? Star made me walk around with a snake in my boot for a week! It was rubber, but the rashes it gave me were unbearable. Oh. Yeah, and he made me pickpocket monsters by the Oasis. Star didn't make you do that. <laughs> you know what? This ain't fair to any of us. Clover needs a challenge. We need to see if they're truly worthy of joining our squad. Finally, some real excitement! Feisty Four, here we come! Oh god! Oh god, okay! That's why they said, please save. Oh, thank you for making the background clovers. Time to get feisty. All right, Ed. All right, all right, all right. Ed, the dream team. So you're the new deputy, eh? Then you shouldn't have a problem dodging this. Uh, yes, I have no problem whatsoever. Where'd I go? Below? Oh, all of my residual health, my overcharged health is gone. <laughs> Mooch looks around suspiciously. Distract. You point at the hospital frantically. They don't notice. Oh. Hello, Clover. I'm very sorry about this, but I've been bored all day. You're kind of cool. You got your little swords. Uh, ow, ow. Swords and all. Mooch and Ace are playing 52 card pickup. Oh, can you teach me how to do it properly? The Dream Team! Oh, it's just gonna be Dream Team. I think. Hmm. <laughs> Good luck. Oh! Oh, I like that. Cute attack. Whew. Ed pounds his fists together triumphantly. Smirk. You smirk at the four Xantics. They're trying. Quit hugging Clover! Ah, oh, they're like the four cards, huh? I didn't notice. Was it changing between all the different suits? It's my time to shine. This is theft. This is theft. The guy who was trying to do armed robberies should be learning from you. Ace is practicing sleight of hand. Steady. You hold your ground while the chaos unfolds around you. That's where the train insults, Mooch. Let's see if you can pass round two, kid. I probably won't- Oh! Lord. Oh, my goodness. How do you- Where do you avoid that? Oh my gosh. Moray leans on Ed to rest up. Ed? You hold your ground while the chaos unfolds around you. Nice attack, Edward. You're doing a good job as well, Clover. Ready for this? Oh, m move? Don't move. Move. Oh! <gasps> I already forgot which is move, which is don't move. Orange is move, right? But it changed so fast. Heh. <laughs> How are they gonna explain this to the sheriff? I'd love to stick around for that mess, but oh well. Give me that again. Oh my god, I cannot... I cannot get away from that one. I don't know how to do it. But I still have 20 out of 20 for now. Alright, alright, alright. Okay, okay. Oh my lord, okay. <laughs> Marie leans on Ed to rest up. Guys, smirk at the four antics. They're trying. Now, now. Quit holding back, everyone. Use your trump cards. You were holding back? I think Ed is kind of the hardest one to avoid. Oh, I think, yeah, we're getting to the point where the scarf is nice, the healing is nice, but I think our defense is probably getting too low. That's the problem. So let's have some green tea. Tastes toxic. But it works. My turn, my turn! Oh. 
See, even that one attack did four damage. That's a lot. Because the item that we have for defense really makes a difference. The four are bickering. Our actions don't really matter. Oh, this one's gonna be hard. Murray, let's team up for an attack. Oh, I would be honored. Oh! Oh, no, no, no. Okay, we're alive. Murray sharpens their blade. It doesn't matter. Hold your ground. Am I gonna be okay? Ah, <laughs> Mooch? Of course I'll help you, Ace. Probably should've eaten something else. Don't be so kind next time. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't want to... Uh, the fruit cake, the fruit cake. You scarf down the fruit cake. Swelter stones burn, but it's okay. We ain't done yet. Get ready for my strongest attack. Hey! Oh man! What in the actual gosh darn tarnation is happening here? We thought your training was lackluster, so we gave Clover a real challenge. I'm disappointed in you for. Eight weeks of lessons for this? <laughs> I ought to lock you away with feathers. Star, what's going on? You've been different. A real meanie. It's true. This hasn't been any fun. What are you all blabbering about? Oh, you know what? <laughs> they might end up kicking me out of their gang. Because they're like, you know what? You're ruining the vibe here. Everything was better when you weren't here. <laughs> This is the most alive this town has ever been! Why does everything have to be a spectacle, huh? I miss the old North Star, the fearless leader. The monster who can make their own fun in the little things. This new star is selfish and reckless. Or should I call you by your real name? Should I? Starlo? Why you? Is that a... Is that a, a topic that we shouldn't discuss? What's with all the shouting? What's happening? Seems my posse don't respect me no more. It's not that. We just want you to take it down a notch. You can't just throw us around for this human business. That isn't what friends do, Star. I know what this is all about. Y'all are just full of envy, overflowing with it. Clover shot circles round you and you just can't accept it. Clover has nothing to do with this. It's you. No, Star's totally right. Clover's super skilled at everything. In fact, I think they could carry the whole squad in their own. Who needs us when you got a powerhouse deputy? What are you saying? I'm saying that I'm done. I resigned from the Feisty Five, okay? Really now? It'll still be the Feisty Five without ya, so go ahead. Not if more people leave, Star. I'm leaving too. I don't want to work under a big-headed sheriff. Seems like life dealt you a bad hand, Star. I'm following them. Sorry, Star. Please work on yourself. Forgiveness is only one apology away. Marie's actually quite a nice kid. Fine! I was considering firing y'all anyway. Saroba, you understand, right? They're being ridiculous. Star, how old are you? Actually. Starlo. They're right. You have changed a lot from the monster I once knew. I try to brush it off as you were having fun at first, but... This Wild East thing has damaged your personality. I want to see the real Starlo. That's North Star to you. It's just me and you now. Well, everyone is gone. I got no posse, no friends. I... I need to think. I can fix this. 
Does that mean it's it's our time to go? Did you see all that? I was afraid things would escalate. Nothing you're not fully used to by now. This is probably a good time to get out of here. It's all gone way too far, don't you think? Whatever happens, I wish you luck, Clover. Aw, uh, but if we leave just now, we wouldn't be saying goodbyes to anyone. Oh, hey, what happened to you? Leave me alone. I've had enough of this town. I swear, no one here really gets me. No, they don't understand the level I'm at. I can stare at someone and they'll feel true fear. Well, not everyone. If you think you're so tough, why don't you prove it to me, he said. Alright, yeah, maybe I misjudged how strong a left hook to this sheik could be. Yeah, maybe I should have taken on someone smaller, but it's all part of my plan. I wasn't even using all my power. Oh, you got beat up. Big red guy and his dumb little stupid hat. Trust me, if I had landed the first hit, things would have ended much differently. He got lucky. Ed? Can I have some boost? Did you take my money again? I don't know. Hopefully not. We could just go slip away in the shadows without anybody noticing. But it feels... Mm, well, we have to get Martlet back first. Ooh. Hey, you're still here. Do you... I'm, I'm deputy now. How do you feel about that? We should probably refill. Yeah, and consider... I think we need to consider... Getting a different... Different... Defense item. Like... The safety jacket, this stuff is 7. I think we can buy something else at the... Blackjack, right? North Star is the worst! Hate that guy! Right? Oh, you're a trendy guy. Huh, <laughs> I don't actually think North Star sucks. I just say whatever's popular, in hopes to rise in the Wild East ranks. I, uh... Kinda need North Star to return ASAP. Who else am I supposed to blindly follow in life, my dad? Sure, if I wanna grill meat and browse sketchy undernet pages all day. Grilling meat? Do we know your dad? I think I'm gonna... Um, I think Star went that way. Hmm. I kinda overheard what happened outside. Uh, I know I shouldn't feel this way, but... Maybe you should go after the Sheriff, Clover. I know he did some mean stuff, but he's out there all alone now. You've gained his trust, so... Maybe you could sort out the situation? But that'll mean that you'll be here for longer, though. Is that okay? And, uh... We still need him to let me out of here, of course. You can do this, Clover. If you can convince this bird brain, you can get through to him. <laughs> okay, if you say so. We good. Why are you still here? Hey, kid. Sorry about the whole train thing earlier. I love playing the villain, but I never considered how the others felt. Maybe in the end, that's what makes me the real villain. I want to move on once this all blows over. You know, get an honest job and move to a more... conventional place. Vengeful Virgil Redemption Arc, here we go! Oh, you- that was you! I thought you were gonna leave. You snuck out of jail and you stuck around to be the villain. Right, so our Silver Scarf is Defense 6. What can we buy here? Fancy Holster, Defense- Eight? Eight isn't that great, though. The stuff I have right now... Steel... The steel buckle and the safety jacket, I think, are both seven, if I remember right. Seven? Oh, safety jacket is six. So that's not even worth it, then. I can probably sell these things for some more money. I don't need it. Okay, maybe I'll try... I'll buy the fancy hol holster then. Yeah. Made from leather. Okay. Fancy holster. You proudly equip the fancy holster. You're ready for anything now. Good, I guess. I'll still keep the... I mean, it's not a big deal anymore because we have that dimensional bag. Mm, yeah, I'll just put it away for now then. Oh, he broke through. 
Star? Howdy! I was hoping Star Lord ran to his parents or something. Looks like you'll have to confront him. Do what you do best. I'm always rooting for ya. Wait, are we fighting? Are we gonna fight? Oh, it's been a while since we left the town, so I'm like, ooh, wow, we're actually in a different place. A higher up place with floating rocks and puddles of water. Why did this happen? I did everything in my power to entertain. So monsters wouldn't have to worry about being stuck down here. Oh, Star. At every turn, I try to cheer Saroba up. I just wanted Kanako off her mind. Kanako. I'm trying my best to honor her memory. Kanako is gone as well, just like Chujin. Aren't distractions what's best for all of that? Hmm? You... Why'd you follow me? Are you still my friend? Hold on. Oh my goodness. This all happened after you showed up! Ed specifically mentioned you as a problem! That's right! I was just being a good friend! I made you who you are, yet this is what I get? Let's face facts. I couldn't keep you here forever, kid. Word would have gone out that Feathers hadn't clocked in, eventually. Feathers... Wait a minute. Royal guards like her have a ton of status. They gain that status by doing the King's work. I'm sure... I'm sure everyone would come back if I did the same. Doing the King's work, as in... Apprehend the human? I'd be revered, not only in the Wild East, but the entire underground! HUD! Clover, you've been an excellent deputy, but... As a lawman, what I'm about to do is embedded in my soul. My true duty. Don't... Don't make this difficult for me. Just hold... STILL! Oh, the lessons are... Oh! <gasps> they actually were paying off. I know I'm better than this. A dignified sheriff would face their opponent fairly. However, you're no everyday bandit, so get ready. Oh! Love the vaporwave aesthetic. Showdown. Oh, love the tumbleweed too. Attack 12, defense 9. The almighty sheriff. I do have an overcharge. Huh. Even tied up, you're skilled. I sure have an eye for talent. Not much else other than that though. Oh. The tumbleweed rolls by. It says hello. Hello. Bite. You chomp and pull at the lasso, but it only gets tighter. Still... Part of me wishes things could have stayed the way they were. I can't move. Did it actually get tighter? I think so. A little bit? Starlo keeps a steady eye on you. You squirm inside your leather cage to no avail. Why'd you have to step foot in my town? Just a few hours ago, everyone was getting along. Now, well, we're here. Oh, whoa, 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 the explosions and all. Yikes. A tumbleweed rolls by and says hello again. Star, you have to realize what the problem is. It's not me. It's you. The problem is you. You narrow your eyes and everything becomes letterboxed. This is the only way to fix things. The only way I know. Oh my goodness. <sighs> Marie literally said, Forgiveness is an apology away. Starlow's fingers itch for his six-shooter. 
struggle to no avail. <laughs> oh, this is... Starlo keeps a steady eye on you. I'll have a CT. Your soul speed increases. Oh, what does that mean? Quit squirming so much! Oh my goodness. Starlo's fingers itch for a six-shooter. Again. You squirm inside your leather cage. Clover, you gotta understand! Oh dear. Starlo's lasso grips you tightly. I didn't take out that many new snacks. You eat the feisty slider. Much like the team, its flavor is ambitious. Come on! Give it up already! Wow, that was quite something. Smells like leather boots and dashing looks. Star, wake up! You chomp and pull at the lasso. Does it actually get tighter? I hope it doesn't. I don't know. Fine. I didn't want to use this, but I got no choice. Goodbye, partner. Stay still! I don't want to hit my lasso! Oh! Should I let him hit me? Hmm... Oh, I thought I had to just stay still. Hey, I did stay still. Okay, I have to let him hit the lasso, I think. It, oh, I hit it! Look what you made me do! The lasso is made from premium materials! Starlo's lasso grips you tightly. You narrow your eyes and everything becomes letterbox. Oh. We are free! No! No way! Outsmarted by a deputy? At least it's a fair showdown now. Time for a real duel! Duel! I kinda miss the scarf. I don't know how much it would've done here though. Ooh, here we go, here we go. Spin! You spin your six-shooter several times to intimidate Starlo. I'm gonna miss our time together. I mean that. Mmm, Starlo, you've gotta be better. Starlo keeps two steady eyes on you. Focus! You take a deep breath to prepare for the next attack. At first, I was truly happy. I thought you were the real deal. Oh, wow, that was a lot of different things. Starlo tries to tape his lasso back, but can't find the other end of the tape on his roll. I don't want to take the cactus. Do you think I can survive for one more round? Ah! Focus. Take a deep breath. All my sacrifices, all the naysayers, those didn't matter anymore, because what I had was special. Oh man, there was some slow-mo thing going on. Ah, I needed to bring more food. The mentor versus apprentice thing is fun and all, but... You do know the mentor isn't supposed to win, right? <laughs> yes, yes. Time for a real duel! Alright, alright. I haven't eaten a single health item yet. I'm doing alright. I'm gonna miss our time together. I mean that. Mm-hmm. I like the variation in the boss battle so far, but a lot of it does feel like we're waiting out the dialogue as opposed to anything we're doing actually doing anything. At first I was truly happy. I thought you were the real deal. Oh, this one's really hard. Yeah, I, I better eat something. My soul speed increases. All my sacrifices, all the naysayers, those didn't matter anymore, because what I had was special. Oh, this is... 
Sometimes it feels like I don't even have enough time to escape. Oh. You take a deep breath to prepare for the next attack. But now I've realized the truth. The sheriff stuff? It's worthless. Well, it's got such a big radius, my goodness. Wow, I got hurt even though I didn't touch anything directly. Oh. We all tout justice, but... True underground status is only secured through pain. Monster Kind's hero is a title soaked in blood. Why is the whole thing- oh my gosh, the slowing down is so bad. Oh. In the end, we're nothing but bandits. Stay up. Oh my gosh, I'm already at half health. Starlow's left hand is shaking. I'll chance it. Okay. One. I have one left in my chamber. I'll make this count. Starlow's left hand is shaking. Don't shoot me. You lower your weapon and raise your hands. What? What are you doing? This isn't fair. Starlow! Stop this right now! Who have you become? Because this sure as hell isn't the Starlow I grew up with. Soroba. Now's not a good time for this. Don't kick me while I'm down, please. I'm... I'm sorry, Star. I know this is weighing heavily on you, but listen. None of us hate you. The real you. We adore you. What we hate is this false, reckless persona you've created. I have my own baggage. We all do. I don't even know if I have room to say this, but... Bring him back. Bring back the innocent farmer I once knew. I just... Wanted to be appreciated, revered by all. I was trying to provide a slice of the surface where we have none. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm not even telling you to quit running the town. Just don't let this identity consume you. It isn't healthy. Very well. Clover, I'm terribly sorry for attacking you. I do value your friendship and the time we've spent together. You have every right to make fun, but... <laughs> well, yeah, you were a star. I didn't think you would be anything else. Oh, you're a nerd, though. You have... Wait, are you wearing glasses? This is who I really am. I'm not a real sheriff. I'm just some nobody farmer. <laughs> oh. He did try it really hard to make himself look cool, though. Don't say that, Star. You may not be a real sheriff, but... You're the best sheriff I've ever known. Yeah... I suppose I am kinda cool. Darn right. But... This whole show wasn't only for some personal power trip. Hmm? I also did it to... Cheer you up. You might have wanted the old me. But I also wanted the old you. Because of... Kanako. I... Um... Appreciate that, Star. I... I believe I have business to take care of relating to her. What do you mean? I must tell you something. I suppose Clover should know as well. As much fun it is to have duels and catch bandits, there is a pressing matter looming over me. Let's go to the old Steamworks gate. We'll speak there. 
Saruba. Come on. I guess you're really part of the team now, Clover. You heard her. Star, don't you need to be saying... Saying sorry to your friends? Oh, hey, Marlet! Clover, Clover! So I have good news and bad news. I'll start with the good. Turns out, the wife of that old friend I told you about is here. Yes, it, it's Saroba. Her name is Saroba. You probably met her already, now that I think about it. She broke my cell lock with a sick magic staff and let me go. I also made sure she knew I wouldn't tell Asgore about this. So now that that's taken care of, the bad news. I'm about to go back on my word, sadly. Oh, you're going you're going to leave me? I know I just said I wouldn't leave your side, but then, you know, this crazy detour happened. I also realized I threw my job to the wind to travel with you, but since the imprisonment took up so much time, I have to go back. If I don't at least clock in, the royal guard will grow suspicious. Plus, Ava is totaled. It was their property. Oh my god. I'll only be gone for a moment to fix my mistakes. Saroba encouraged this decision, so don't worry. She told me she would accompany you on the journey to Hotland. Oh. Okay. And then we'll learn more about Chujin and Kanako and all that. So, hey, it all works out. Again, I'm so, 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 so sorry about this, but I'll see you later. Okay. All right, uh... No, no sweat. Okay, sure. All right. Howdy! You're becoming a pro at this, buddy. At this rate, you'll be able to confront Asgore himself. Oh, I'm gonna need a lot more food for that. Barely had any food with me. I need to buy some stuff, too. Were the packing peanuts... Was that food? No, they're packing peanuts. They're not peanuts. <laughs> Honeydew pancake, cold pop, hot pop, eh. But these are older food, so it's gonna heal less. We gotta be careful about that. Let's put this place behind us, pal. It's getting grassier. Okay. 